Hello YouTube, Eddie Bones 13 back at you with another knife review. Uh, I'm going to call this a review because I've actually uh, uh, carried this knife now for about, uh, I want to say, a little over a week. And I am thoroughly impressed. Um, you can catch another review of this same knife, um, but in Orange Handle Scales over on Epic Snuggle Bunny's channel. Uh, he does a wonderful job on his review, so uh, I don't expect anybody to learn much more from me than what he's already told but i did have to keep this on my channel and show it to the view the subscribers that are subscribed to my channel um so uh I'll go over some specifications and then i'll give you some uh my impressions and then rate it from a zero to five okay uh what we have here is the kaiser uh cutlery obviously if you can't tell by that little symbol right there which you'll see a little closer here in a minute the kaiser cutlery vanguard um it's a matt degnan I hope I'm not slaughtering his name, Matt Degnan Roach Flipper. Uh, and uh, this knife is outstanding. Um, let's get a couple close-ups real quick. I always like to get a cl couple close-ups of the, uh, the G10 that's on here. So it's all black G10. It is a smooth G10, but not slippery, if that makes any sense. Um, and we'll get we'll get more into this in just a second. A wonderful flipper. There's that color of blue, that pop that just gives this knife a pop that is well deserved. Um, nothing wrong with all black and silver knives, but that blue just sets it off. Um, you do got a titanium pocket clip on the back with that signature roach um, pattern. Apparently, from what I understand, is Mac Dagnan, Dagnan is a pretty new um, knife maker, but. Uh, he names his knives off of uh, friends, I believe. Uh, but buddy in high school, I believe, or college, uh, they called him Roach. Um, used to draw these and uh, actually sent him this design to be placed on all the knives. And let's get to see if we can get a good close-up. Pretty cool. Uh, everybody runs from Roaches. This is the one Roach that I don't run from that I actually like <laughs> so just a good outside look of this uh this knife real quick before we get into some specs just a gorgeous piece of work i love that blue backspacer um nice uh common uh torx bit torx screwdriver um uh pivot there um with kind of the rounded off one in the back that you guys that watch my channel know i love um you got your kaiser symbol there the item number V4477781. And then it says Roach Matt Degnan on the back. Okay. So uh, while we're holding this knife up here up close here, uh, let me give you some uh, specifications on this bad boy. Um, right now, um, close length, they're looking at 4.80 inches. Um, and uh, you're looking at a thickness of, I measured about a, about a half inch. About a half inch on the thickness here. Okay, and uh, from this point to this point, you're looking at about uh, one and a half inches about, and you're looking at about one inch throughout the rest of the knife here. Obviously, it tapers down and smaller, but about this area here is about an inch, about an inch and a half here. So a nice, nice, good size, but matte, thin and manageable um, handle, okay? Let's get into the pretty part of this knife. Pretty. <laughs> I use the knife pretty in the knife. I use the word pretty in a knife video. What do you know? Um, I should say sexy. Look at this blade. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Um, you know, I'm not sure what kind of coating there is on here. Um, it just says it's a gray finish. I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, what it is. If anybody knows, uh, maybe you can uh, let me know in the comments what kind of coating this is. It's like a bead blast almost finish, but it's in a gray. And uh, look at this blade. Um, we'll get a couple close-ups here. Um, VG10 steel. Um, we'll get that out of the way right now. You know, like I said before, um, that's a good mediocre uh, steel. Um, and if I forgot to mention, this particular Kaiser knife right here is part of the new Vanguard series. They also have what I believe is called the Bladesmith series. Uh, I'm guessing which is um, all the Kaiser knives that are in titanium with S35 VN and anodized titanium parts and so on. But um, this is part of their Vanguard series. And I'm going to tell you, I paid $88 for this knife. And again, as with the other um, uh, Kaiser knife that I purchased in the Vanguard series, there's just nothing out there in this price range that compares to these knives. 
Um, it does run on a caged ball bearing system um, with ceramic detent, I believe, up in there. Um, you can see they did do, um, on this side, they did a little bit of, uh, let's see if we can get it in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see in there. No, it doesn't look like it. But they did do some, uh, some, uh, uh, some holes in there. There's kind of one back there in the corner you can see. They go all the way across. You can kind of see uh, they did some uh, some weight reduction milling inside of this these uh, stainless steel liners here. And again, there you go. You can see them from the top up there. See them up there. So it does kind of reduce the weight a little. But uh, um, let me just go ahead and tell you the weight of this knife real quick before we get any farther. Um, 6.4 ounces or 181 grams. And I got to tell you, 6.4 ounces is a heavy knife, and you feel it. This is a beast, but I believe with the style of knife this is and what Matt was trying to accomplish, I believe the weight goes perfectly with the style of knife it is, okay? You're looking at a blade here of three and a half inches long and at its widest point, an inch and a half wide, okay? And you can kind of just see that, how it's just gorgeous, a gorgeous drop point, you know, and a, a wonderful grind here. It comes really high. And then down, and this would be an just awesome, awesome uh, slicer. Um, comes down to a point, but you can see the point is very sharp, but this really wouldn't be a thrusting, stabbing style knife. Just too wide. This is totally a slashing style knife, and, um, you know, that's if you were to use this in a self-defense way. Um, I got to tell you that uh, this, for me, is an everyday carry. Um, it, it just stomps through any task that I give it, um, with no problem. Um, so you're looking at a blade thickness here of 0.125 inches or 3.2 millimeters. Um, and then you have an overall length on this bad boy of 8.30 inches or 211 millimeters. Okay. So, uh, again, three and a half inch blade. 4.80 inch handle uh, for a total length of 8.30 inches, okay? VG10 seal, like I told you. Um, I love the coating they put on here. Feels great. It looks great. It adds to the knife. Um, let's get a shot of this big troil here. Look at that troil there. It's absolutely humongous. And I'll give you a hand shot here in a second to show you how it fits in the hand. The ergonomics of this knife are amongst no other. This is based off of Matt Dagnan's uh, custom roach. Um, and like I said, Kaiser, all, Kaiser also does the Bladesmith series version with all titanium handles. And uh, uh, I believe some anodized hardware on there. I'm not sure. You do get a titanium pocket clip on here, which is nice. So, but uh, let me do a little, let me do a little back out here. And I just want to show you what this looks like in the hand. It's absolutely phenomenal. So what you got here is you got this big troll here for your front finger. Your two fingers will fit in this kind of groove here. And then my pinky rests here. Now I have large, extra large hands. So to me, that's the perfect grip on this knife. You got a little indention. No jimping up here. But this little indention sets your hand in there nice. Now when you do want to choke up on it, this troil is so big, you can get that whole finger up in there. That's when all these fingers fit inside of this, and you don't need this pinky grip here. And you can just choke up on this thing and do some fine cutting. And I love that. A knife this heavy needs a troil. You need control. And the grip adds to this knife. Just, it's absolutely outstanding, the grip on this knife. I absolutely love it. And it is heavy. I'm not going to lie. It's a beast. Um, but I'm a big guy, so something like this doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead and get to the action. Perfectly smooth. Flies right out. Perfectly smooth. You can close it fast. You can open it fast. Uh, then bearings just do it justice. Whoops, missed there. And it is absolutely phenomenal, the action on this knife. Upside down, get that in that reverse grip, absolutely comfortable. And again, the action is what really gets me. 
the ball bearings that they use in these uh, Kaiser knives, these cage bearings are outstanding. Outstanding. So, uh, I believe um, it is a right right hand uh, tip up carry only, uh, or tip down carry only, which is great. Actually, did I just say tip down? Tip up carry only. I'm backwards. Um, and let's look at this centering while we're right here. Look at that centering. I mean, it is dead on dead centered all the way through absolutely gorgeous the way that they uh, uh, cut the knife to fit around the handle is perfect the flipper is another thing I really want you guys to see it's got some nice these two aggressive jimping spots here and it's rounded so you know you're not gonna have some point you're digging your hand into the way this slants down is perfect for light switching you bring that on down and you can light switch it every time um, push button it, since it's not pointy you grab it flies right out of there okay um, I do a mixture of both a push and a pull down and this knife is just no joke a blade that heavy and you know to be this smooth is just outrageous so um, that's pretty much pretty much all the specifications on this knife I'm gonna give you my overall impressions of this knife I absolutely am in love with this knife this knife um, for me is showing what Kaiser can do with uh, materials that other knives would charge a lot more for. I know VG10 isn't the greatest um, material or the greatest still out there, but it's I've never had an issue with it. This knife is razor sharp um, all the way up, all the way down, razor sharp, and I mean it will tackle through anything you give give at it and I'm telling you it holds an edge and VG10 sharpens up really nice um, it's just a gorgeous gorgeous piece of work by Matt Dignan and another another home run for uh, Kaiser knives and I just want to show you here this backspacer it's it, you just don't even feel no transition the fit and finish of an $88 knife is absolutely incredible um, all the screws are polished. The pocket clip is polished. I didn't even know it was titanium. It looks stainless steel the way they achieve that polish on there. Um, it's just an absolutely wonderful knife, you guys. And like I say with every other video, you need to get out and you need to get you the Roach by Kaiser Knives in collaboration with Matt Degnan, okay? Um, he does have some other... Uh, Knives that are done by Kaiser. The cane, I believe, is done by Mag Degnan, and there may be a few more. But um, make sure you get the ones with bearings. Kaiser, even Kaiser's uh, washer knives are smooth. And let me just give you an example. I haven't done a video on this, but this is the Panthera by Kaiser, and this is on washers. Look at that. I mean, you got to kind of give it a shake because it's on washers, but it closes right up, you know? So. And I'll do a video on this. Maybe this is the Panthera with the blue titanium pocket clip. But uh, Kaiser, to me, you guys, is just absolutely killing it. And um, I just, I, I don't see, I keep slipping. I, I, you got to be careful. It is rounded here. So if you try to go too fast, you're going to slip. Just grab a hold of it and pull it, and it'll go every time. But let's do some close-up macros if I can get some on here of this gorgeous finish that's on this blade. It's like a gray coating. It's absolutely gorgeous. We'll just kind of bring the knife on through like I like to do here. Look at that pinky rest there. And I'm, I'm telling you this knife just, the ergonomics are phenomenal. Okay, let's get another close up of this here. The pocket clip. Pocket clip functions uh, great in and out of the pocket. Um, it rides about right here, so you do have enough. And like uh, Epic Snuggle Bunny said in his, you got three screws here to help you pull this from the pocket, which is nice. There it says Roach and Matt Degnan. And it's just a gorgeous knife. Let's see if I can get a good front view here. Just gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, while we're here, let's also look at lockup, which I think is very important to note look at that lockup i mean these are pretty thick stainless steel liners and that lockup is i mean it's perfect it's about 40 percent the whole 
liner is is hitting the the uh, knife here so I mean you're not gonna have to worry about any problem of this slipping whatsoever and what I did and I don't know if anybody that has this knife noticed look at it from this angle do you see that lock relief there well this G10 used to be higher <laughs> it actually was high so high you have to kind of push your thumb down in to get to this lock bar so what I did and nobody laugh at my little cheap job here I have to kind of go back there and fix it but what I did is I took uh, a little uh, grinder type thing and I grinded down the G10 here and it's not too bad there's a little bump here I need to fin kind of go over but I grinded down this G10 just enough to get you to be able to get to this lock bar a lot easier and close the knife and it actually helps the comfort when you're holding it it just like added more finger grip there I don't know and you know I've done that on a couple of my knives um, just for example my Max Ace wind flipper if you look at this see all the see how the lock bar you can you can see it well I, it's because I ground all this down in here it used to be way up even and you had to dig your thumb down in there but if you look at it now you can actually get to it and close the knife um, and I believe those are the only two knives I've done that with up till now but uh, um, yeah um, so I'm gonna give this knife a five all day it's heavy but I love that it's smooth it's very utilitarian. It's very EDC friendly for being so big and bulky and chunky. Um, you can you can chop. Um, you can pierce and pull cut. You can do so many different things with this blade. Um, you guys, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So uh, let me go ahead and give you a couple size comparisons real quick. So uh, let's put that up to, we'll go ahead and use that Max Ace Wind Flipper that I bought. Um, and I did do a review on this. Um, you can see the Max Ace handle is a little longer as well as the blade. You're looking at about 3.8 inch blade on the, the Max Ace, okay? So um, let's see what else I got. How about the ZT561? Now this one has a black scale on it. I know a lot of you are used to seeing the ZT561 with a uh, with a uh, that brown scale. I put a black one on this one. And let me know. Maybe I bought it this way from uh, another uh, collector. I, mean, I don't know if he put this on, but every 561 I've ever seen, the 560 had the black uh, scale. But I think this may be an aftermarket scale. Uh, ZT scale that was put on here, but you can see the size difference. Um, obviously, you're looking at 3.75 inches on the ZT. Um, and just to show you that this is a 5.61, it says right there, and it does have the black scale. When I believe they had that brown earth scale, and I'll be doing a video on this one next, even though there's been so many out, it's just it deserves a spot. Um, a couple more size comparisons here. Something that everybody might have that collects is the ZT-0801. And you can see uh, you're pretty similar there. Um, blade length is, you know, I believe the cutting edge of the ZT. If you were to line up the cutting edge here, you got quite a bit more cutting edge with the ZT. But uh, but uh, handle length uh, lined up, you're looking, you're pretty pretty darn close, if not exact, on the handle length there from the ZT801. And one more, let's do the ZT0562, since that seems to be a knife that everybody loved and have and has, okay? Again, um, if you were to line up the cutting edge here, you got quite a bit more cutting edge from the ZT0562. But I believe they're calling this a three and a half inch blade from the Troil. In fact, let's see if we can do a quick measurement here. Right here and just see what we get. So you're really looking at about, I don't know, three and a quarter, a little under three and a quarter, maybe three inch cutting surface on this, on the Roach. But that's because you get this huge troil which just aids in making this knife so awesome for edc carry so there's the 0562 and just one more size comparison this is an odd one but this is also a very heavy knife this is the boker Salako. 
And again, you're seeing that uh, the blade cutting surface is a little longer, but in length they're about the same, and handle length they're about the same. And you're looking up in the high fives to almost six ounce range in this Boker Sulaco as well. So um, if you guys know what this one feels like, this Boker Sulaco, then you kind of get an idea of what this roach is going to feel like. So I'm already 20 minutes in. Um, I just really wanted to get this out there and show you that this new Roach Flipper Vanguard Series by Kaiser, $88 is worth every penny. Um, it's smoother than most $300 knives I have, and so is every other Vanguard Series uh, model that I, that I currently own. So, I urge you, get out, get you the Roach. If you want to step it up and pay about $220 or so, Get you the Bladesmith series, which is the all titanium version. Gorgeous. I don't think you're going to get this beautiful blue backspacer, but you're going to get titanium and S35VN. Uh, and probably a lot, a little bit lighter. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, I, I please beg you to, to like and subscribe. Um, I have videos up that are old, that are new for me putting them up, but the knives are old. So, I'm only getting like 45 watches and stuff like that and i understand that I, I i i'm not a big collector so i don't i can't justify putting a new knife every week that's brand new for people to to to, to see because i can't afford to buy every brand new knife that comes out but i will keep the videos coming you guys uh like i tell you every every time i do a video youtube stay sharp out